And he perceived that a man had faith to be healed. Hmm. He didn't say, notice, you've got to notice what they don't say. Because this is where people read their thoughts into it and they think, well, this is what it must have been. No, th he didn't say, I perceive that God wants to heal you today. Yeah. No, he didn't. Because that's not right. Why is it not right? Because God's already done something about it. <laughs> God's already healed the man. God's already made the provision for the man to be healed. It, God just didn't wake up today or he don't wake up, but he doesn't decide today, well, today I'm, I believe I'm going to heal you. No. That's what the church is, people try to, preachers try to get you to believe. Well, if it's the will of, God, will of God, you don't even know the will of God talking like that. That's foolishness. No. What'd he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? And the God of Abraham, the Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son. Hath. Yeah. Not going to. Hath. Yeah. Hath. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's good stuff this morning. Good Holy Ghost stuff. And so, there they preached the gospel. All the gospel. And he perceived that the man had faith to be healed. To be. To be. Somebody say, to be. To be healed. Amen. I believe that's the 13th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get over. We might just read a little bit of it. I'm not sure where it's at. Yep. Verse 7, chapter 14, verse 7. And there they preached the gospel. I love it. They didn't preach no church doctrine unless it was right doctrine. They didn't pre preach no tradition of men. And they wouldn't tell him how good Paul was and how holy Peter was and all the apostles and how wonderful they were and are. He said, no, we're preaching the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. Why, people have been patted on the back so much that, that, that this is, it's ridiculous. Quit patting people on the back. Right. And let's brag on Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Give him all. Amen. Hallelujah. He's the one that God has glorified. Whew. Give us a name above every name. Glory to God. Amen. Well, anyway, he's here preaching the gospel. And there said it, a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb. And here's another man that had never walked. Now, let me tell you something. When you're in that position, it's not the easiest thing to just all of a sudden believe something else. My God, I've been crippled all my life. And now all of a sudden, I'm going to decide that I'm going to believe something else. That's not the easiest thing in the world. You can't just go from being a cripple and having that mentality and knowing that that's who you are and what you are, to go to, 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 to change your mind of thinking and way of believing that now that I can be healed and well? Man, that's a major transition going on here. What brought it on? <laughs> what brought it? What brought it, I said. The gospel brought it. The gospel brought it. The gospel. Hearing, yes. The gospel. The gospel. Freedom. People, you don't have to live there where you are. You don't have to stay there. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to die of cancer. 
You don't have to do those things. The gospel. Yes. Glory to God. And there they preached the gospel. Whew. Hooray for Paul. Yes, All right. <laughs> Preaching the gospel. Glory to God. Verse 9, the same heard, the same heard. And again here, hearing is always involved. And here he's hearing. He's been a long time in this shape. But this man's going to hear something today he's never heard in his life. The gospel. Glory to God. Amen. Somebody told Reinhard Bunke one time, said that Bible said that's old news. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Honey, old news. 